Okay, guys, so in part one, we got up to this point, we have the slide with supports and one stair. We're going to start out by making this into not just one stair, but multiple staircase or one staircase. So start out by selecting this stair, both pieces. Right now, see it says two shapes here. Go ahead and group these together. We need these to act and be like one shape. The next thing I want to do is select this guy and press Control D. That just duplicated, but it duplicated right on top. There's two of these shapes here. So I'm going to go Control Up four times. Go Control Up four times. And then this is the part where most people, I mean, end up getting lost or confused. So please follow closely. And the trick, there is a trick. The trick is this. Notice how this stair is highlighted blue right now. For this entire step, I need it to stay highlighted blue. I can't click off of this stair. If I click off of this stair at any point in time, this step will not work. So next thing to do is to grab this handle for the rotation and rotate this to 22.5. Press enter. Bring this out. Now I'm just going to use the arrow keys. I'm going to press up. Uh, let's do four times and then I'm going to go to the right twice. And it looks like that. So because I selected that, uh, because I'm still selected, and actually let's bring it this way one more time and that way one more time. Now I'm going to do Control D again, and that just copied. Instead of copying right on top of it, it copied the move up, move out, move to the right. It copied and rotate. It did all of that because I stayed selected. So now I just do this, Control D, 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 D until I grow this staircase up to the top. Bop, 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 bop to the top. <laughs> High school musical reference. And I'm going to go a little higher until I have a, like a 90 degrees to my slide. That looks good to me. Because now I can actually hide this. If I go here, hide. Let's hide that guy. Let's select this, and we're going to group all these shapes together. Now this is going to act like one shape. Group, group, group. Okay, there we did. There it went. And now I want to, no, 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 Control-Z. Bring that back. I need to unhide all. To unhide, just go ahead and click this or show all, go ahead and click that light bulb. Now when I click one of these stairs, oh, this should group, oh no, it didn't group. Do it again, so make sure to select all these stairs and group together, group. Group this together, please. Give it a second. All right, now I'm going to lower this down until it's the same size, roughly, as my slide. And I'm going to move this over just a little bit to line up just a little bit better. Make sure I'm not running into the slide or place the stairs in front of the, you know, exit way of the slide. And now we have this cool stairs and our slide. All right, so now we are going to add a platform so that we can get from the stairs to the slide. So to do this, I'm going to get at this angle, looking at my slide like this. I'm going to grab the work plane tool. Grab this and I want to select this edge right here. So now when I bring a cube out, it goes right to that edge. And that's exactly what I want. I am going to shrink this down to only two millimeters high. And now I'm going to look and make sure that I'm at the right place. This looks just a little bit high to me. I could adjust the height of this by going up or down. Right there looks perfect. That might actually be right where it started out as. Uh, anyways, let's go ahead and make this a little bigger and go out to meet the stairs. The stairs are a little bit taller right now. That's okay because we can shrink those stairs down to the right size. Grab the black handle, bring it down. I can even use the arrows the arrow keys on my keyboard to line this up perfectly. I'm going to go up just a little bit right there. 
Once I have that lined up perfectly, making sure that I'm not running into anything with the stairs still. Now I'm going to select the stairs. Oh, control Z. Let's select the stairs and the platform at the same time. It only says they act like two shapes right now. And let's go ahead and group those together. All right, sweet. And our platform turned brown, just like the, just like the stairs. So we're looking good at, up to this point. All right, now if you're a little OCD about this stair not lining up perfectly with this platform, that's A-OK. -okay. We're going to go ahead and fix that right now. Let's go ahead and grab the work plane tool. Go ahead and click the ground to change that back. And now we will want to change. Let's go ahead and uh, select both of these. Let's divide this or ungroup. We're going to ungroup that so that we can adjust. On this one, let's make sure, so when, on the snap grid, it was probably at 1, and so when I move with, the, with it at 1, it moves at too big of increments to make a difference. Let's see, let's start moving it down. Yeah, see, it's moving too much to actually line up perfectly. But if I change this to point 0.1, it's going to make it so that it moves in much smaller increments, so then I can get it to line up exactly. And for our OCD people, we're going to like that a lot better. Uh, so let's go ahead and select both again, and then group those back together. Now that those are grouped back together, uh, we're going to want to create some rails so that the kids don't just fall off this, this platform when they get here. So go ahead and grab a cube from the side. Uh, bring this cube over. Oh. And let's go ahead and set, we need to change the work plane to this surface right here. So now when I bring in a cube, it lands right on this surface. Uh, click, and ho click the corner, press and hold shift, bring this down, and go down to 2. And press enter. And then bring the height up to 15 on these. So let's bring this over and let's line this up right about where we want it to be. Let's go about right there and let's change the color to, how about a lighter brown, just to be a little different from the brown of the platform and the stairs. Okay, now that we have that, let's click on this, this rail. Let's press, let's give this a bevel as well to just make it look nice. Um, click on this. Um, or let's do radius. Radius sounds good. Let's do radius of four. I think that's looking nice to me. All right, we click this guy. Let's press control D and then we're going to click over. And let's go to right there and then do control D again and see it goes that same amount of space that we did that time. I pressed over quite a few times, um, just as many until it, until I thought it looked good. Now we're going to go again. If I do Control D again, it creeps, keeps building in that same direction. So I'm going to do Control Z. I'm going to do Control D, and I'm going to do over this way now. Just about like how much I want to be spaced in between. Let's do about that much. I'm not really. I'm just doing it by whatever looks good. Let's do Control D, 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 D until we get to the edge. And let's go ahead and just move this one over right to the corner. All right, now let's do Control D again. Oh, whoops, Control Z. Okay, Control D, and then move it this way. Same pit, same fish, different pond. Um, let's go about that much. That looks about the same spacing. Control D, D, D. D, uh, one more, D. Okay, that's looking pretty good to me. And then let's go, let's unselect. So now it's not going to copy in that same direction. So, and then select again, press Control D. Now move it in this direction, move it to the other side of the slide. I like how it's moving all slowly. <laughs> I'm just holding the left arrow right now. Let's get this lined up. A little bit more. Let's get rid of this menu. 
move this over just a little bit more. If I press Control D now, it's going to copy that same amount. So let's unselect, press Control D, and then just move this one over about that much. And then do Control D, D, D. And then this one needs to come back just a little bit. Um, I think that looks pretty good to me. All right, and that'll be it for part two. I haven't decided if I'm going to do part three yet. But here we're, here's where we're at for part two. We have the slide, the supports, we added the stairs, and then we added the platform with these little, with these guys, these posts, to keep the kids from falling off. <laughs>